Welcome back to the channel and today I wanted to show you what you could expect from Porter Airlines Porter Reserve Economy Class on their Embraer E195 E2. Please follow me on Instagram at Brandon Johnson 10 k for behind the scenes looks at content that I will be reviewing in the future. So first I kind of wanted to go over what uh, exactly the Porter Reserve is. So Porter has come up with a way, I guess, to offer economy class, but an elevated experience in economy class, which is different than what we've seen other philosophies on airlines. Uh, so you really have a choice of two economy experiences, Porter Classic. And as you can see, what that comes with in Porter Reserve, which is a little more, uh, you get a little bit more with that. Um, and I, I thought the product was pretty good here. So as we take a look at the cabin of the Embraer E195 E2, brand new jet here so you've got a 2-2 configuration all throughout the cabin so essentially i think the first five rows or so are the porter reserve you notice the extra leg room you have with those i felt the seat was pretty comfortable uh this was pd 302 porter airlines flight 302 from vancouver to toronto four hours and 10 minutes of actual flying time as you can see there's the tray table in front of you that comes down Below that, you've got a pouch here to put some things. You do have a little more literature on the Porter Reserve. There you do have two charging outlets that did work, thankfully. As you can kind of get your idea of the leg, leg room there. Looking up here, you can see the individual air vent that you have and decent pitch for the uh, seat, I thought. Yeah, and it, it held up well for the four hours and 10 minutes. So I'll leave you with the takeoff and I'll be back with more on the flight. Okay, let's take a look at the bathroom here. Now this bathroom is pretty tight. There's, I gotta tilt my head to the side. Uh, this is the bathroom in the front. There is one in the back as well. Now because this is essentially an all economy um, class flight, people are gonna use the bathroom from whatever, uh, from the classic seats in the front and they're not gonna tell them otherwise. So just, if that bothers you, just something to keep in mind. So here's a look at the meal service. Uh, so I, I had the smoked salmon croissant. This was served with the poached Granny Smith apples, which were very good, and the biscuit with strawberry jam, which was excellent. Yeah, I know it doesn't look like much there wrapped in the plastic, but that was good, and so was that strawberry jam. And the smoked salmon croissant was pretty good also. So as you can see here, the portions are smaller. Uh, so yeah, you're not expecting what you would get, I guess, on a domestic first class flight in the United States. After that, uh, coffee and tea was offered, so I had chamomile tea. And I'll show you in a minute the menu choices of what was on this flight. And you do have snacks available too. I had some cheddar fava beans, which were extremely cheesy. My hands got really cheesy there. And uh, canned margarita, not bad. So here's a look at the food and drinks, um, just in general uh, for flying on Porter in general. So they show you what the complimentary drinks are. And that's one note here. So you do get complimentary beer and wine on all flights, which is, I think that's a differentiator. So uh, I would, I would compare the Porter 
reserve at least the seats I would compare that to what Delta offers on Comfort Plus because you do get alcohol and Comfort Plus on Delta. Uh, you don't own an Economy Plus on United. You'd, ha you'd have to pay for it. Same with Main Cabin Extra. Uh, you might have Main Cabin Extra on American Airlines, I believe, also. But you don't get a meal on those flights marketed as Comfort Plus and Main Cabin Extra. Here's a look at the meals. Just in general, what they have there as far as the meals go. Now... And now I'll show you what exactly was offered on my flight as far as the meal choices go. As you can see here, and see what comes with it. But you have the three entree choices: sunset, sunrise parfait, the smoked salmon sandwich, and the cheese and the charcuterie plate. There, and there's a look at the premium snacks and beverages that they offer. So here's a look at Wi-Fi. Now Wi-Fi is free for everybody. Now, you do get free full flight Wi-Fi without interruption if you have a VIP Porter account. It's very easy to sign up for one and to me worth it. If not, you'll just get 30 minute free sessions, but you'll have to click through ads as you go through. So I just signed up for a quick VIP Porter account just to have unlimited Wi-Fi. It was fast and it's gate to gate as well. That's that's nice. So similar to JetBlue. So very impressed there with the I guess technology, if we will, there's no in-flight entertainment screens as you didn't see on the seat. So you do have the streaming entertainment options here. So I'll let you take a look uh, through that and I'll give you my final thoughts on this Porter flight. Okay, welcome back. I wanted to give you my final thoughts on this flight. So I do like the idea of the elevated economy experience. Um, I really think it's the perfect fit for this particular aircraft. Um, yeah, I, I feel like the Embraer family of aircraft tend to be on the more comfortable side for regional aircraft. And this is a longer flight on that aircraft. But yeah, I didn't feel any pains after uh, deplaning or anything like that. I thought the crew was very nice, very friendly. I do love the fact they have free Wi-Fi, uh, although you will need a VIP Porter account to access it without ads. No in-flight entertainment, as you saw, but uh, you can watch movies streaming through Porter. Um, really, the only issue I had wasn't really an issue, but again, I, I've never flown Porter before, but as far as the service flow, it did take a while, maybe 15, 20 minutes to offer drinks after the meals were handed out. So I don't know if that's something normal or it was just a anomaly on this particular fl flight, but uh, I thought the food was above average and I, yeah, I would take this flight again um, uh, without hesitation. Now, also something to keep in mind, all the food that is complimentary for Porter reserve fares that can be purchased if you're on a Porter classic fare. So you can purchase those a la carte meals. So. Um, that was my experience on Porter Airlines Flight 302 from Vancouver to Toronto. As always, I do appreciate you watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and share this with a friend. Thank you.